I'm surprised nobody brought this up. Nazardin Imovov got cheated out of a finish when he kicked Roman Delidze. Not only is it a stupid rule, but the rule wasn't even applied. Nazardin Imovov had Roman Delidze's back, and Roman Delidze reached to the ground with one hand to make himself a grounded fighter. So he cannot get kicked to the head. It's the same old rule that everybody plays with. And I don't even know how at this point the rule has not been abolished. Well, Imovov, from that position, throws a left head kick and catches Roman Delidze clean, hurting him. He could have followed this up with ground upon shots to finish off the fight. There was already controversy from the first round. Some people think that the fight should have been stopped there for Imovov as well, but Herb Dean seems like he put money on Roman Delidze or something. So Herb Dean separates the two fighters and takes a point away from Nazardine Imovov. The MMA unified rules, which is not unified because every state seems to be different from each other, has a definition for what a grounded opponent is. The unified rules say that you have to have both hands on the ground flat palm down with at least the soles of your feet to be considered a grounded fighter. Nevada has the unified rules, but they did not adopt the new grounded opponent rule. But the Nevada State Athletic Commission Executive Director Bob Bennett said that Nevada's rule about what a grounded fighter is, is if you have one hand on the ground, weight bearing. Well, we know from the Valentina Shevchenko and Alexa Grasso rematch, when Alexa Grasso was throwing those knees at Valentina, that fight was also in Nevada, just like Imovov and Delize was, and they considered those knees legal because Valentina did not have her palm down. Valentina only had her fingers on the ground, so they allowed Alexa Grasso to knee her. And Ariel Hawani said that he was talking to the commissioners about whether those knees were allowed. And this is what Ariel had to say. He says, quote, I did speak to the Nevada State Athletic Commission, and an official there told me that it is one hand on the ground. So Shevchenko's correct about that detail. The hand has to be flat on the mat or weight-bearing. Notice the same language there as Bob Bennett had, weight-bearing. And they also told me that between rounds, they actually checked the replay. The Nevada State Athletic Commission checked the replay of Shevchenko and Grasso. They said the yellow light was on, they checked it multiple times, and they determined that all of the knees hit legally because the hand wasn't flat and or weight-bearing, and or at times even on the mat when the knees were landing. So their determination was that those were not illegal knees, unquote. Now to note about Alexa Grasso's knees on Valentina Shevchenko, not all of them landed when Shevchenko's hand was on the ground, but two of them look like it did. One of them, the hand lifts off the ground on the impact of Alexa Grasso's knee to the head, right? The blow from the knee causes Valentina's hand to come off the ground. And another time, it looks like her fingers are touching the ground when the knee lands. This rule was not applied the same for Alexa Grasso because in her case, it was correct. They made the right decision with Alexa Grasso's fight. They didn't make the right decision in Nazarene Imovov's fight. Roma Delizzi did the same thing. He only had his fingers on the ground and he got head kicked and hurt by it. That should have been a finishing opportunity for Nazardin Imovov. He got cheated out of a TKO right there. Roma Delize was not a grounded opponent even by Nevada rules, shown from the Grasso and Shevchenko fight that happened not too long ago in the same place. And Nazardin Imovov's technique there was beautiful and should work. Even just take away this rule, take away this whole grounded opponent garbage. You should be able to knee and kick people on the ground. That's just what it should be. But that technique was really good to use, grabbing the back, throwing the kick up. It's a possibility of what can come forward if they take that grounded rule away. But not only that, in the first round as well, I'm not too strong on Delize getting finished or, you know, the ref coming in. He pumped that fake jab, getting Delize's reaction, which was seemingly the left hand extension, and that opened up that line of sight down the center for the right straight. And you seen throughout the whole fight that Imovov was throwing that straight punch and it was beating all of Delize's left hooks, right? Straight punch being looping punch was a big thing about Imovov's offense. Landing that punch and he was able to weave under, get on the outside of that extending left arm, posting on him to keep enough distance between them two, as Delize looked to go under for a takedown, which gets intercepted by an uppercut. And the post is still there. Imovov is still holding him at range, and uses that to enter behind it, landing a knee to the body that seemed to have hurt Delize, and they're just throwing left hooks until Delize falls to the ground. Big ground and pound shots follow up afterward. But you can definitely make an argument about it. There's many fights that have gone much longer than that, before the fight was called off. Imovov landed 
landed a beautiful combination of Roman Delize, falled him to the ground, and landed dozens of strikes unanswered. He was not intelligently defending himself. I'm willing to believe at this point Herb Dean had some money on Delize or something. So that fight should have been stopped for Nazar Dean either in the first round, if not definitely in that fourth round. And the moral of the whole story is take the grounded rule away, man. These guys are playing that game way too much. It's so unnatural for fighting to be safe in that kind of position. When are you ever considered safe by putting your hand on the mat doggy style? You know what I'm saying? Like when you ever, when are you ever safe in that position, man? I'm so sick of this rule, man. It's one of the worst rules under the unified MMA rules, man. But overall, just a beautiful performance by Nazardin Imovov. Sometimes he has moments where he looks like he's a world beater. And it just makes Sean Strickland's win over him look even better. I expect Imovov to go pretty far in this middleweight division. He does have some weaknesses for sure. He does leave openings for himself to get tied up. There aren't like amazing wrestlers throughout this division. So it's not going to be too much of a problem for him. But he could slow down his offense. Nazardin did say that he got tired a bit in the fight. And I can understand after that first round he was trying to finish him. But an offensively active... Nazardin Imovov is a very, very good fighter, man. He's so fast. He has pinpoint accuracy, amazing striking technique. It's just he has to get away from these clinches, though, man. He has to close up that defense on those clinches. It's more of the entry than anything else. He leaves too big of an opening on those entries. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to give this a like. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.